y'all welcome back to the vlog how y'all doing we out here down in uh, south of Stockton California chewing hay going crazy over here the Pettigrews just showed up let's see what's up yo 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 <laughs> how'd you find us Did well you, you know the, the holy spirit sent us the pin Back on the road. <laughs> Here we go. We're back. Like the dinosaurs. Oh, How you doing? <laughs> back in LA, there's traffic up the wazoo. I think the ultimate plan is to go get to Palm Springs today. Possibly. Humanity is not in control. Do you, obviously, because if we were in control, if we were all powerful as humans, why would why would this virus be here upon us? See, the reality is, is we all know the truth deep down that we as humans have limited power in this life. At best, we might be able to slow things down, but the Bible tells us that God is in control of everything. And actually, if you read the Bible, what you find is that. God even was was took responsibility for bringing certain things upon humanity as an act of judgment but really an act of his grace so let me give an example God's people the nation Israel that was his original chosen people no longer are they his only people anyone can become a child of God who calls on the name of the Lord but often you would find them rebelling or for, against God or forgetting God. Time and again, God would do wonderful things for his people. Save them, deliver them, give them wonderful things. And then after a while, they would forget. They would go wayward and they would go astray, worshiping false gods. And God, in his love, would, would tell them, I'm going to bring hard times upon you in order to awaken you to my love again in order to wake you up from your spiritual slumber so that you have an opportunity to come back to God and I'm here to let you know today my friends that God is in the business of, do of, of this and he's doing it again in our in our culture right now this pandemic is actually God's love and grace to you saying wake up wake up and smell the coffee life is not going on forever Jesus is coming again. So you don't have time to play games with God. Eternity is coming very, very soon.
All right, we got a baptism at Venice Beach, like right away. We got to the boardwalk, felt the Lord calling us here, so we, we turn right on the boardwalk immediately. He asks to be baptized and to be made new in Jesus. Like I said, we just got here. Amazing stuff the Lord's doing. For a fallen man, every millisecond of your mission in the path of obedience. The one who's can we just pray for you real quick yes. before we start going? Yeah. Father, we just pray right now for Lola and uh, you hear her cry, Father. You know her heart, you know her cares. And the Bible says, cast your burdens upon the Lord for he cares for you. Lola, the father, that's, that's what he wants you to be reminded of right now is that he's father, he's daddy. He's a perfect daddy who loves you, who cares for even the most. Sometimes we think, oh, God doesn't care about this desire of mine. Oh, yes, he does. Every one of your desires he cares about, and he wants you to bring them to him as you've done with this situation. So, Father, we just pray a blessing over Lola, her life, her journey, her calling. Don't let the devil get in the way. In Jesus' name. Understand more of what it looks like, God, to steward your creation and love your creation and take care of it and value it, Lord. Um, thank you, God, so much for Lola and just her heart, her loving heart, God. Would she also just um, be full of your love um, in many ways, uh, Lord. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning. We woke up at our rest stop in the Palm Springs area. We got some laundry to do, so we're gonna probably head and do that. Not really sure what this day is gonna be like, but here we are. Here we are. Walk, walk, walk. Sandy? Sandy! Ah. All right guys, so we're here in Palm Springs, California, um, just getting some water and stuff, and uh, apparently they're fining people for not wearing masks here, so I gotta go in and get some water. I'm gonna put my mask on. I'm gonna What do you think? Okay. What do you think about my mask? It's good. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so funny. Thank you. Okay. Have yeah, a good one. Sad. What do you guys want to do next? Uh, Are you on the fence about it? <laughs> 